Good morning guys and welcome back to another video here in Pakistan, specifically in Lahore. We're getting close to ending our time here in Lahore, but we still have just a few videos left as we explore this side of Pakistan. And so guys, in today's video, we are going to be on a bit of a food hunt. You know, we've been doing a lot of food hunts lately, but the reason why we're doing so many of them in Lahore is because if you've seen my other videos, Lahore is very well known for their food scene. So a couple of videos ago, we actually tried to visit Gloria Jean's Coffee right over here, which is inside of this mall. But surprisingly, the coffee shops here open at noon, which was quite shocking for me. But today I got a bit of a later start. I had to sleep in a bit, late night editing last night. So that means uh, we're gonna go ahead and be at Gloria's just in time for a 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock coffee. So let's head on over there. We'll see you up there. Salam alaikum. All right, here we go. As you guys can see, they're, uh, they're quite strict in Pakistan. No vaccine, no entry. That's just how they do it over here. And let's head up to Gloria's. Salam alaikum. How do I get to uh, Gloria's? Yo, you need to upstairs. It's always not to our friend this place. What? Movies, not clouds. No movies. No movies. Alright. Alright guys, well we ran into a little issue. I had to put the uh, camera down because I had to stop filming, but then we just talked to the mall director, got full approval. So now we're here, back at it, getting some coffee. I need it guys, trust me. Trying to talk and negotiate deals on videos I'm doing. I need the coffee for it. Alright, and let's see. Where is... Coffee zone? Well, I think we gotta go down one floor. I think we took the elevator too high. The place we're going is gonna be somewhere over here. Uh, there it is, Gloria Jean's Coffee. This is where we're going. Looks like a nice spot in here. All right. Salam alaikum, my friend. Oh, we've got some good stuff in here, guys. We do donuts, chocolate cake. Oh, exactly what I shouldn't be eating, but it's my guilty pleasure. All right, guys, I think we're gonna have to get probably a tea. That's gonna be the go-to. A tea or maybe a cappuccino. Actually, you know what? I might even get two. Try out the tea and the cappuccino, and then we'll keep walking over to Liberty Market because I need a little bit of energy. You know when you sleep almost too much and then it makes you tired? That's how I'm kind of feeling right now, as you can probably see from the uh, bags under the eyes. What's your good name? Rohit. Rohit. It's nice to meet you, Rohit. You're here from Lahore? Yeah, I'm from Lahore. It's a nice city. Very nice city. I'll take a uh, regular cappuccino, please. Okay. Plus a... Uh, you have cold teas or only hot? Only hot. All right, then I'll do a green tea, regular, please. Oh, so your cappuccino also? Yes, please. So Double one down. cappuccino and one green tea, right? Perfect. Shukriya, my friend. We accept card or cash here? Yeah, cash. Cash only, all right. How was it? It's All right. okay. I only have large bills. It's okay. Yeah, sweet. Perfect. Shukriya, my friend. All right, guys. Pretty warm in here, not gonna lie. Definitely not meant for sweatshirt weather, but uh, it's a good lounge in here. It's nice. As you can see, it's got a homey feeling here to it. Gloria Jean's coffees and a nice layout. There's even a back little balcony over there as well, but it seems like it's full based on checking out the tables. It's actually kind of nice. I have too many people around because then you guys can hear me a little bit better. Some of the restaurants I've been to, I'm like, yeah, I hope you guys can hear me. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna get something to drink, get some uh, energy in us, and then we're gonna head over to Liberty Market again. Shukriya, my friend. Oh, very nicely made. They even put a nice heart up top there. Great presentation. What's your good name? Abedullah. Abedullah, it's a pleasure. Mac, thank you very much. And this looks great. We got a nice tea there, guys. And I'm thinking we'd maybe toss a little sugar in there, get it going, and that'll do the trick. Let's get this sugar in there. We're pouring it right on the nice heart on top there. Oh, yeah, that's looking G double O D, guys. Mm mm mm. We will even put a little sugar in the tea. We're going to be doing quite a bit of walking around today, so, you know, tossing a couple more calories in. You got to do it sometimes, right? Oh, my tea string has a mind of its own. Yeah, guys, both of them are steaming hot, so it's probably going to take a few minutes to get it going here. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to try out the coffee first, give it some time to cool off. Oh, that is nicely made. <sighs> nice, warm, and sitting well in the stomach. Much needed, guys. As you can see, got the bags under the eyes. We're going to fix that. Once we take down a tea and we take down a coffee, I'm going to be feeling wired, ready to go. Now, let's see if the tea's cooled down enough yet. Try that out. Mmm, that is good. Very good, my friend. Yes, very good. Shukriya. Uh, but I would consider it more of like the modern side of Lahore. Here's where you can get a lot more modern cafes, 
good places to hang out, a much different experience. I'd like to share with you guys in these videos both sides so you can get an idea of, yes, you can go for your more traditional experience, but also like in Pakistan and Lahore in these big cities, you can also find probably what you're used to if you're coming from a country like Australia, United States, Canada, some of the other Western countries that have a lot more of these like modern type of cafes. So it's great to be able to experience both types and share them with you guys. So I'm hoping you're enjoying it. And I'll tell you, I'm enjoying the coffee and the tea here. And here we go guys, last sip of the tea. Oh, that was nice. Polished off a full coffee and a full tea. I'm feeling energized, ready to get going. The nice part about these teas is it kind of tastes like, almost like fruity pebbles. And I've had that a few times now here in Pakistan and I'm digging it, I'm digging it. But let's get the bill and head out. So guys, for a tea and a cappuccino here, you'll pay about 1,000 rupees, which is roughly around six US dollars. So to get wired up for the day, which I am, I'd say that's quite a good price, so. Let's do it. Shukriya, my friends. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye. Here we go, guys. On to the next spot. All right. And back onto the wild streets of Lahore, guys. And we are going to go searching for some breakfast. Shukriya, my friends. Oh, yeah. Even with the pollution, it's funny because it's like partially a sunny day. So you need sunglasses. But at the same time, it's, it's kind of not. Guys, the nice part is the walk from uh, Glorious Coffee Shop over to Liberty Market. It's only about 15 minutes. So honestly, with all the traffic going on today, here on a Thursday morning, it's not like they're going that much faster than me anyways. So figured might as well get a couple steps in, cruise on over there. And you never know when something's gonna happen on the roads here, so here we go. Salam alaikum, my friend. As you can see, I mean, just looking across there, it's a clear sky day, but it's not actually clear because of the amount of smog there is out here. Salam alaikum, my friends. And so, you know, like, uh, I think you've probably heard this in other videos, but you're supposed to wear like an N95 mask because the pollution's so strong. And like, even after a couple of coffees and teas, my throat feels like super dry just breathing in this air. I mean, you can see how crowded this place is. So that gives you a good idea. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to try and cross one of these streets. This time we've got cars coming to the right. We've got cars coming straight ahead. And we're going to try and get up to the restaurant over there if it's open called Mono. But I guess we shall see. It's a very busy time to be crossing here. Everyone's honking, everyone's coming through. All right, let's see if we can make our way across here. And we made it. We're getting busy, so we might want to walk across the middle for a little bit. By the looks of it, Mono is not open. But we're gonna find out, guys, I promise you that. All right, here we go. We found an opening, and we're gonna make it. That is a good feeling. Salam alaikum, my friend. All right, salam alaikum, kind people. Everyone's like, who is this guy walking around with a camera? Because it looks funny, like, you guys just see it, like, but like, I'm actually like holding my hand all the way up right now. Well, I always am, so it looks probably quite funny to onlookers. <laughs> Two shops outside of the uh, Monal restaurant. This has got to be the entrance to get up there somewhere. It's a cool looking building. It's like each floor has got quite a few plants. And we'll be uh, walking up to the first entryway right over here. All right, we've got some uh, nice ice cream shops over here. Salam alaikum, my friend. Hello, my friend. How do we get to uh, Monal? Monal? The rooftop? Monal. How do we get there? Elevator? Oh, we got our bros coming down the stairs to help us. Good man here. Salam alaikum, my friends. So it's called Monal. I was calling it Monal. Monal. That makes a lot more sense then. So we're taking the elevators to get to the top. All right, we've got lunch, tea, buffet. That's looking good. Closing it? is on the 10th floor. Ah, shukriya, my friend. Oh, we're definitely stuck, aren't we? 30 seconds. Ah, 30 seconds. You got to do the special touch. <laughs> Oh, there we go. What's your good name? My name is Hamad. Hamad, it's a great name. Nice yeah. to meet you. So we've got good food here, yeah? yeah. Perfect, yeah. perfect. This is my first time. I was recommended Mono's one of the best in the city. Okay. Yeah? So we're going to try it out, taste it here. Oh, there we go. So it looks like it takes about 37 taps of the uh, number 10 button and then it works. That's a secret hack to get up. In case you ever feel like you're stuck on the elevator. All right. And we've got some different views walking in. Hello, salam alaikum, my friend. Don't worry, no weapons, boss. Just a drone. 
I'm not flying it up here though, don't worry. Shukriya, my friend. All right. Salam alaikum, my friend. Looking to uh, get some really nice views. I hear this is one of the best restaurants. And what's your good name? Ibrahim. Ibrahim, it's a pleasure. My name's Matt. I'm looking to uh, get some nice views of Karachi here. Is best up one more? Yeah, perfect. Let's uh, let's do just for one, just for me and uh, the audience. So me plus one. Shukriya. Guys, we're getting a little side spot here. As you can see, the vibes up here are quite nice. So we've got some Karachi views out here. Oh, we've got a nice spot. Yeah, these are pretty big tables. Salam alaikum. Oh, it's peaceful here. You can see all of the city. Oh right, yeah, we'll do the little two pack right there. All right, guys, we've got a chair for me and a chair for you guys. Uh, that is that's perfect. Shukriya, my good friend. Oh, uh, we're doing just one person. Yeah, so the guys brought out one extra. The audience doesn't hear many this time. <laughs> Shukriya. We've got Mona, which was recommended by a follower of mine that you can get some delicious food up here. And the nice part is I didn't know if you come for dinner or if you come for lunch. So I said, let's try it out because we are in the Liberty Market area. And it looks like they've got a lot of good options. We've got appetizers, we've got fast food, we've got food from all around the world. Wings even, loaded fries, continental variety. We've got some, some good stuff on the menu here. There are so many options here, special deals, family deals. Oh, we even have Italian pasta and lasagna, guys. Deep pan pizza. Oh, would I be a bad person if I got pizza here? I might have to though. Oh, we even have molten chocolate cake, guys. I wish it was possible to not get fed from eating too much because trust me, I would literally order a molten lava cake for every meal. That might be my number one favorite dessert. I feel like I probably should have something traditional. Yeah. Uh, yes, my friend. What would you recommend for traditional Pakistani food? Oh yeah, which one's the uh, the best on the menu? And I'm not super hungry, so... Chef tradition, just get... Chicken barata? Chef tradition, Parna cherry bowler. Let's try spicy. one. Spicy. Spicy? Like super spicy or a lot? A lot or a little spicy? Super spicy, super spicy. Ooh, so it's risky? What about karari? Mutton fry, non spicy. Normal. 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 Alright, we'll take one of those, please, boss. Just the, the half of them. Half? Half. Mutton fry. Yeah. And then for something to drink. Coke and spice. I'll take uh, a Coke, please, boss. Coke, okay. Plain uh, non, Romney non. Is there a cheese non? Cheese naan, just starter. Yeah, perfect. First starter, cheese naan. Is it tasty? Yes. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, guys, we took the chef's recommendation there, or the uh, waiter's recommendation there, on what he thinks the best items are. So I'm excited to try them. Been doing a mix, uh, both here in Lahore and in Karachi. Some Western food, some traditional Pakistani food because like I told you before guys, it's fun to just switch it up and try both kinds and share it with you. Because some people give me a hard time when I have Western food in these places, but I think that you should do a mix of both. The reason why is because not every single tourist is going to want to try out like traditional food, you know? Like some just want to eat Western food but still explore Pakistan. And you can't blame them, you know? Not everyone's adventurous with their taste buds. And then some people, you know, like some of us that are on the other side of the spectrum, they like to just do the traditional food. So if you share both of them in the videos, then people can at least know that both options are like very much readily available. So today it's gonna to be traditional and I'm very ready for it. But like, as I was saying guys before, this gives you a much better view. All the way out in the distance here, you can only see maybe one kilometer away. It is mind blowing for me, just mind blowing to see that it's that polluted. From what I've been hearing from the locals, it seems like Lahore is the strongest one in terms of like uh, pollution, but we won't see as much when we get up to Islamabad. It's a bit uh, less crowded overall than, than here in Lahore. So let's do it guys. I'll see you once the meal is ready. Yes. What's your good name? Kamran. Kamran. It's a pleasure to meet you. And this one is called a uh, mint lemonade? Yes, it's mint and lemon. Oh. That looks delicious. And look at the presentation on that, guys. We've got a uh, nice few levels of, it looks like some sort of uh, leaves in there. Let's give it a shot, though. Like this mint, Ooh. ice, lemon, sugar. Mint, ice, yes. lemon, sugar. Oh, it kind of reminds me of a kind of Mint lemonade. Mint lemonade, yeah? Sure. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it's got some uh, nice mint leaves in it. Well, man, it's a good recommendation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's quite nice, guys. It actually reminds me of a caipirinha, except obviously without the alcohol. If you know what a caipirinha is, it's what they have down in Brazil, and it's quite nice. 
Very sweet to it, a lot of sugar, you can tell. But a good mint flavor to it. And if you guys know me well, which probably not too many videos if I shared it, but I absolutely love lemonade. Actually, when I was a kid, that was like how I made money. When I was a young kid, is actually I had lemonade stands in the U.S. with some friends. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually a funny story because when we first had our lemonade stands, we found a really high traffic area. And obviously, with any business, if you find a place that has high traffic, you're gonna get more customers. And so we got all the neighborhood kids to join in for this lemonade stand. And it was like the first time that I had a real understanding of how a business works because we made like over 200 U.S. dollars in a full day's work at a lemonade stand. But the interesting part was. We had, I don't know, maybe eight or 10 neighbor kids. So like, I'm the cashier at this lemonade stand and at the end of the day, I'm like, wow, we made so much money, like we're gonna be rich. As a kid, you know, $200, you're like, this is life changing money. You can buy any toy you've ever wanted. But then it came time to pay all the employees. You know, we had people making the lemonade, we had people holding up signs, both where we were as well as at other street corners. We had the supplies to make the lemonade. We had all these little business costs that as a young kid, you forget you have costs for a business to run it. And so by the end of the day, we uh, each got like maybe 15 or $20 and we were like, whoa, that's not as much money as we expected. So that's funny. Anytime I drink lemonade, I always think of that story because it was the first time I started to fully understand like business. And so, mm, very refreshing, I'll say. Ooh, all right, guys, we have the cheese naan has just arrived. So this looks incredible. As you can see here, we've got a uh, bread layer on both sides and it looks like the cheese is actually on the inside of the naan. So it kind of reminds me of a cheese paratha. Quite nice. It's got a uh, couple peppers in here too. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure the type of cheese is. What type of cheese? Amadar. Amadar? Mm. I'm not sure what Amadar is, but it's good. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Definitely need the sunglasses on here. We have the sun shining in because it's the early afternoon. So here's what the... Uh, cheese looks like here guys and a little closer up for you so you can see what it looks like inside it still is quite hot as you can see it's a nice flavor to it for sure all right we got our man Yasin bringing out the good stuff salam alaikum Yasin he's got a nice big plate there this might be more food than I can eat well we're gonna see what we can do though and that's quite the uh, serving plate here covered in foil move that out of the way oh wow and look at that that is quite the dish there. Yeah. That could feed a family of five. And that's just the half, guys. Wow. It smells quite nice. Oh, we got a fresh plate coming up right here. And what do we got over here? A little naan. A little naan to dip her in. Oh, and the naan's got a mind of its own. Let's check it out. One-handed is a little tough to do this. There we go. And, oh, there we go. We've got some thick naan in there. As you can see there, we've got a uh, texture there. Oh, it's, it's gonna be chewy. I can already tell. That's gonna be nice. Oh yeah, yum, yum, yum. So guys, if you remember me saying that this one's gonna be less spicy here, so we'll get a scoop on here. This will help it uh, cool down a bit. As you can see, we've got a bunch of oils that it's cooked in there. So that is gonna be tasty. Make sure we put a little on top of there. Oh, that's gonna be very nice. We'll get another scoop. Great presentation though. It comes out in this huge, huge bowl here that I'm not sure that I've had. Some delicious traditional Pakistani spices, so. I am getting very hungry just smelling it, guys. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dig in. All right, that should be good like that. All right, well guys, let's go ahead and give it a shot. We'll get a uh, bit of the naan bread here. Maybe get the fork out too, not a bad idea. There we go, we got a winner. So all right, we're gonna try. Oh yeah, you can already tell, guys. Just putting my fork through there, the uh, meat's basically breaking apart. And that is a nice texture. So let's toss that bad boy right on there like so. We'll even actually, you know what we'll do? We'll grab a little bit more of this oil, toss it up top. And that way we can ensure we're getting all the flavors. And let's try it out. Oh, wow. I am a big fan. Mm. Oh, that is great. You know when the meat's cooked perfectly and it breaks apart, then you mix that with the chewy naan right now. And along with like the oils and everything that it's cooked in, just, oh, it's a mouthgasm. It's definitely the first time I've seen naan bread like this, where it's kind of like cooked. It almost reminds me of like a, a blanket, you know? It's such a funny comparison, but nice and chewy. On the other side, we have a nice uh, crisp texture to it. And then, what's missing is just a G double O D piece of meat. That means good. Uh, good. All right, let's try that out. Mm -hmm. 
that my friends is delicious and this is why you've got to try the local Pakistani food because these flavors you just can't get anywhere in the world you can only get them here in Pakistan or in Pakistani restaurants and it is very authentic very delicious here along with great views of the city Shukriya my friend nice little cold coke here quite tasty to wash it down definitely gonna have a little bit of a sugar rush after that I'll tell you that all right another piece on here it's really a great meal though guys like um, in terms of how I would rate this love my cheese parathas love my uh, chicken biryanis and this one this one's up there as one of my uh, favorite items I've had here in Pakistan very nice I need this recipe, that's for sure. All right, we're gonna get some more of this up on the plate, you know? It's just too good to not have seconds, you know? Oh yeah, get it up on there, and make sure we don't forget the uh, the delicious sauce there. Pour it right on top. Oh yeah, that's gonna be delicious, delicious indeed. Mm-hmm. Oh, see? It's just, it's so nicely decorated, even on the plate, even after moving it around, it still has a nice presentation when you plop it right down. And that naan is calling my name. All right, we're gonna need a, uh, a big bite for this one. You know, this is one of the days Harry's missing out. He took today as a work day. Well, he's feeling a little under the weather, to be fair, but he's gonna watch this YouTube video later and he's gonna be like, geez, I should've gone. And I'm gonna tell him, you know what? You're right, you should've. Mm-mm, good. Very good, my friend. Delicious. Shukriya. It's interesting, every single Pakistani meal I've had since I've been here, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And they're meals I've never heard of. I probably have heard of them, just I haven't had a reason to try them until actually being in Pakistan and trying out the traditional foods. And they've all been so delicious, so flavorful. I haven't yet gone for anything like crazy spicy, but I know I'm gonna need to. So maybe once we get up to Islamabad, then we'll try something crazy spicy. I'll make sure I have a, a set of medicine just in case my body doesn't handle it right. Let's put it that way. Guys, that was so fun. I'm going to have to take this with me because it's a lot of food. We got a lot to do. Let's see if we get the bill. Who the bill, please? Yeah, I'll check. Card or cash? Uh, card, please. Oh, nice. We can pay card or cash here. It's so nice when we have that option. Do you like this feedback? Just mm -hmm. the uh, Perfect. Thank you. Uh, it's very professional. We've got a uh, feedback card here. I'm giving it food quality excellent, service also excellent, presentation excellent, cleanliness excellent, environment excellent, beautiful views, staff attitude very friendly. I hooked it up with a lemonade too, can't complain there. The music's chill. That's all excellence, guys. All excellent, my friend. 10 out of 10. Delicious. Shukriya. Perfect. Thank you very much. 2400. 2400. Alright guys, so for that uh, entire meal, 2400 was the total here. And 2400 in US dollars is roughly 12, 13, 14 dollars. Our man's gonna take the card here. So yeah, about 12, 13, 14 dollars for a massive meal. Honestly, this meal could have fed like me and one other person. So we'll have another full meal to eat later. And a very good staff here. Thank you. Shukriya, my friend. Until next time, my man. See you. Thank you. Bye. As you guys can see, shukriya, delicious food, my friends. Over here, they even do the buffets during the uh, brunch. Nice views at night. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. Hopefully, we can, next time we're in Lahore, make a visit at night. Shukriya. Shukriya. Special service cruising down. What's your good name? Ahmed. It's a pleasure. Same to you. Oh, we got views of the mall out the back. I forgot we have glass out here. On the way up, it was crowded. Couldn't see. And now here we are. Ahmed, it's been a pleasure. Shukriya, my friend. Until next time. All right, that was a nice lunch. I'm feeling quite full after that, I'll tell you that. Hope you guys enjoyed coming up to uh, the restaurant with me. It was a fun time and it's always better when I have you guys with me because I actually have someone to talk to, otherwise I'll just be sitting there on my phone. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video, guys, for those of you that are still here. And if you wanna see more videos both here in Pakistan and all around the world, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you've enjoyed this one, hit that like button and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.